Thank you, NHS. You are heroes, apparently. For weeks at the start of the coronavirus pandemic, we were all encouraged to stand on our doorsteps and applaud the NHS. Well, that's fair enough if that's what you want to do. But let's have a closer look at this before we decide whether to clap our hands or not. During the COVID pandemic, videos and images began to appear from NHS hospitals of doctors and nurses performing dance routines. And to be clear, these were recorded while we were being told that the NHS was overwhelmed and doctors and nurses were putting their lives on the line. We were also denying all medical care except for coronavirus. People were dying while doctors were dancing. There's nothing wrong with medical staff letting off steam, but performing dance routines on camera, is that appropriate? And how much time did it take? Meanwhile, how many people were dying? How many people were denied life-saving treatment? According to reports in 2020, a shocking two-thirds of people with life-threatening conditions were denied care. Seven out of 10 people with diabetes, 65% of those with high blood pressure, and 64% of people suffering from breathing problems have had care cancelled by the NHS across the UK during the pandemic. This would be staggering enough but when it's happening while doctors dance, it's even harder to take. We don't know the death toll that has resulted or will continue to result from this abandonment of vulnerable people by the health service. Now we're in late 2021 and much of the COVID crisis is supposed to be behind us. Has NHS treatment improved? Don't bet on it. Let me tell you just some of the stories I've heard from individuals that have contacted me in just the last few weeks. One, an elderly man with dementia goes missing in an Essex hospital for 12 hours and is only located by his own daughter. Two, a young woman on lifelong asthma medication is now denied this medication going forward. They're just not going to give it to her anymore. Three, a seven-month wait for an MRI scan following a mini-stroke. Four, a patient refused an in-person appointment with a GP because he wasn't vaccinated. And five, a person chases an appointment after weeks and weeks of waiting, only to be told there was no record of that patient. It goes on and on. Even before COVID, the NHS was starting to collapse under the weight of its bureaucracy and sheer incompetence. Getting a doctor's appointment was already a struggle, and the chances of you seeing the same doctor twice were practically non-existent. We already had an 18-week wait for referral appointments. 18 weeks. That's around four months. Four months for a medical appointment. And have you tried to get an NHS dental appointment lately? It's a farce. The people of Britain pay for the NHS. We are taxed heavily for it. And yet when we need it, it's not there. The tax, however, doesn't get any lower. What a surprise. Now this has to stop. We're being made fools of. The only people getting decent health care in this country at the moment are refugees. They are well looked after, but the taxpayer? The system doesn't care about them anymore. If you want free health care, and I think we should keep that, then the system has to work. We can't have open borders. We can't have doctors refusing to see patients for not being vaccinated. And we can't have medical staff dancing on TikTok while patients are denied life-saving care. Government after government does nothing to improve how the NHS is run. Nothing at all. Their answer to all of its problems is to throw more and more of your money down the NHS drain. Enough. Those who run the NHS are completely unaccountable to the public. That's the first change we need to make. That's why For Britain would introduce legislation that would allow the public to remove incompetent 
NHS management. The government must stop throwing money to create more and more levels of useless bureaucracy. The whole thing has to be rethought. It needs to start again from scratch. We need a change at the top. We need to insist that we will not tolerate more of the same. In other words, we need to vote differently. If you want a working NHS, vote for it. Vote for Britain. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media, so it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain.